Hey guys, welcome back to the course. In the last video, we have talked about the introduction of the app, like what we are going to build in this session, all right? But there's one thing which I had forget to show you that, like when you click on the image, so you can see that this is the, we are showing another screen, like our details screen. So which is, I, I forget to mention the last time. So, but yeah, that's all about this project introduction. Now I've made some plan for you guys. So the flow gonna be look like this. So first of all, we gonna design the app. Like we gonna first do the coding on the React Native side. And once we design the app, like once we done with the like, you know, UI on the front end side, after that, we will build a server and deploy the server on the virtual. After that, we'll start integrating the API using the Axios and Arden Fetch query in the React Native. So if you're someone who is just started the React Native, no problem, we are starting from this scratch, so you will easily grab all the things, all right? But now let's talk about the plans which I make the plans. So as you can see that in the last video, we have discussed the introduction of the project. Now after that, in this video, we are going to talk about how to set up, how to set up the React Native CLI project setup. Okay, so for that, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just open my server, okay? Open my browser and after that, we're gonna see, we're gonna do the React Native CLI project setup. Okay, so first of all, let me close this browsers and, and I'm gonna close my project, the existing project. And after that, to create a fresh React Native project, we are gonna type React Native. We're gonna search React Native and after that, click on this first articles. Once you click on the first article, click on get started. Once you click on get started, click on this. Can I use React Native without a framework? After that, get started without a framework. Once you click on this, you can see that there's one command called npx react native CLI. So you have to copy this command, okay? Open your directory wherever wherever you want to clone this directory, okay? So I'm gonna make a one folder called course, okay? Inside this course directory, I'm gonna create a term, I'm gonna open my terminal and I'm gonna paste this command. The, the project name is called awesome project. So I'm gonna make it like build a project. Any project name like you're gonna make it like dream AI, build project AI, or whatever we're gonna call it. So I'm gonna just, you know, uh, generate uh, image, generate image AI, or you can mention like any image name. So I'm gonna just write generate image AI, all right? And I'm gonna just hit enter. So what is gonna do? It will took some seconds to create a one directory called generate image AI project. And after that, what is gonna do, it will install the templates, copy the templates, and it will process the templates. All this stuff is going to do, okay? But meanwhile, let me tell you that, like if you had not set up the React Native CLI setup already, you can watch my existing videos on the channel, okay? And a lot of people will also ask me right now, so that's a, can I use Expo? Yeah, you can also use Expo, not a big deal. So, but yeah, there will be some code fix. You can do that. And now the question come up that, why are you using React Native CLI? Why are you not using Expo? <laughs> Let me answer that as well. That, you know, on the my on my course, is multiple course, people want that. I should make the course on CLI, that's why I'm using CLI. And that is the reason, and yeah. So after, after that, you know, what does CLI uh, offers do that, you know, CLI gives you offer like under the hood, like to control the native modules. Okay. So that's all the knowledge. Now let's get back to the topic. So we had copy this command. We had write the project name, generate image AI. After that, it's like, you know, download the template, copy the template, process the template and install the dependency. And after that, it had in slice the Git repository as well. Okay. So now after that, as you can see that what we have to do, we have to go inside this project directory. So let's go CD and let's press the tab. So I went into this directory as you can see that. All right. So now if I show you, if I clear my terminal, I'm not, so as you can see that here, we can see a project name, like, you know, I'm inside my generate image AI directory. Okay. And after that, let me open the, okay, let me close my existing you know running emulator for now so this is the emulator which is running so i'm gonna close this okay and after that uh, you can i'm go back okay now after this i'm gonna just type code space and dot go code space dot and hit enter so it will open this 
project it will open this project in my code editor okay in bs code or like whatever the id you are using all right so this is the way we can you know open the project in a bs code another way could be also that open your folder you know the project where you had cloned that like you know i was inside the course directory here you can see our project has been created so we can just drag and drop on your favorite id okay and after that to, to start run this project how you can run this project first of all you have to open your terminal click on terminal click on new terminal once you open the terminal you have to run this command that is called npx react native run android npx react native run android okay you have to run this command okay so it will gonna took some few minutes maybe it could took one minute two minutes three minutes four minutes as well as five minutes that's totally depend upon your internet connection and the pc specification okay so what is do it will install the like it will okay let me big let me make my terminal size bigger so you can guys read the exactly which the which the command which i had run so people also like you know make a lot of requests bro like your terminal is too small okay now as you can see that uh, i'm running this command npx react run android and here we got some error that could not move temporary workspace okay so after that let me do one thing guys i'm gonna close all my okay i'm gonna close uh, all windows once more and it will close the terminal so once i copy create the project so i was getting this error uh, unchecked could not move temporary workspace okay so i'm gonna give one more try npx react native run android and if it doesn't work we're gonna do something like you know we're gonna figure it out the error but if we just copy this error let's see another way like you know if we just search the solution so i'm gonna copy this command like if you're getting this error as well could not move temporary workspace so just copy this error message okay as you can see that our app is in slicing but it's still like if you guys able to get this error uh, we can easily fix it out so you have to just search here i uh, could not move temporary work space on the browser open this first article stack overflow articles and they have mentioned this error like this is the error which we are getting all right so just scroll down scroll down now what we have to do exactly let me tell you that you have to do uh, you know you have to do npx react native run android command like if you're using npm start so if you're running your project first time so make sure you run this command npx react native run android as we had running right now npx react native run android all right so i'm pretty sure like it's gonna install the, our app like it will do this project setup okay but if you are still getting this error what you can do you can start your server by resetting the cache okay so what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna go into relax and let's let's see our app get installed for a few minutes so i'm gonna wait for installing the app as you can see that our project has been successfully set up in our emulator that is looking awesome great okay so what we had done like initially we had just run this command called npx react native run android but we got this error code not move temporary work space so after that we again try running this command npx react native run android and after that it installed it opened the emulator after that if if you know if on your device emulator is not opening so you can manually open the emulator after that it installed the app once the app get installed you can see that it make a build and like you know the build and if you're like you know if you're installing if you're doing the project setup for the first time it might took of more than expected time maybe it could took five minutes or ten minutes that totally depend upon your device specification so if i just press r you can see that we are having a one another terminal and if i press r so here you can see that it's reloading the app all right so so far what we had done we had done in the certain in this session like react native cli project setup so if you guys facing any issue just let me know all right and after that in the next video we are going to do the setup of react react native vector icon setup okay and also i am going to add i'm going to provide this you know this figma uh, link on uh, figma link on the description box uh, so you guys can also check it out all right and you guys can also build this up by yourself okay so in the next video we are going to the react native vector icon setup 
and let me mark this as a completed okay copy and let me paste it here okay so if you guys facing any issue while set up setting up your react native project just let me know all right guys thank you bye